As we prepare for the start of the race now. All five lights are on then. And away we go in China. It's a relatively decent start for Thomas, but that, that here comes the Renault who got absolutely getting bogged down by the racing point of Briggsy. And, and that's the Haas up into second. We've got multiple cars going wide back here. Multiple barging. Just everything is happening on this first lap already. We've got nearly three wide into turn three, I think. And as you can see, many, many position changes. This first lap has been quite, quite dramatic already with lots of being, people being pushed wide and... What you want? Any any going people going for risky guys free wide into the hairpin there. That Alfa Romeo is not going to really maximise on that exit as that was a very like oh, that was Beko there. So as we hop back on board with the battle between the Renault and the Red Bull, and uh, maybe maybe the Haas is getting involved now as well as uh, Kramer gets quite a bad exit. Actually, as he hits the grass side, the Haas is going down the inside, almost very nearly contact there, side by side, out of the really long coil. I don't think I've ever seen that before. The Haas is currently maximised on that exit, powering down the straight, and he's got him, but that will give Red, the Red Bull the opportunity to get in back into the essentially. The gap is two temp, so it's not it's not big at all. It's really not big, but round the outside, can he pull it off? It's still side by side coming into the first braking zone. And he's actually pulled it off. What a what a move. These two alphas. They're still good, but we have a yellow flag. That's um, I think that's Maverick there. He's uh, he's absolutely been, but he's had a shocker. Uh, the Slayer's got a time penalty as well now. Oh, and he's spun it again. What are we witnessing here? This is I think this is the end of the race for Maverick. He's absolutely bottled it. This is Sebastian Sebastian Vettel will be very pleased. As we see a, an almost free wide moment, and Menzies back in the battle. The McLaren free wide down the back straight. Almost what it was anyway. The McLaren's coming back though. Oh yeah, the Alf he and then we get the Alpha Tower into last. But side by side between the Williams and the McLaren, the Williams locks up, that's completely been it, but that gives Maverick the opportunity to come back at him. If his tires are called down, he just completely misses the shift to fifth gear. Speed of this man. Can he pull off the move? He's actually he's only gone and bloody done it. What a fantastic move. Oh he's gone wide. Oh nearly losing that looking to completely ruin his race, but the Alpha's coming back and gives the Alpha a the opportunity to come back. At him. What a race between these two. As down the it looks like he's got ahead anyway, as he did have DRS, and the Alpha's not even going to try and fight that one. He knows he's quicker than him, really, but that could have been a difference in the race. Thomas there could literally completely bin it. It's quite the side we'll grab. Oh, that's a massive crash from Briggsy. He's upside down. He's under. That is a huge, huge shun. I've. I mean, he's obviously he's going to be okay, but that is Breezy out of the race after such a good showing. I think the safety car is on. It wouldn't be so as that brings out a safety car. He's upside down after all, but massive, massive crash. I think from what I saw, he lost the back end and just plummeted into the barriers. Yeah, just seen Briggsy in the Discord. I can't confirm. He got a snap of oversteer. He gripped again and he just slid off into the barrier. But Nazareth then really gaining on a massive move. It's an absolute drag race down the straight. Looks like he's using overtake to get past. So is Field, but it's just not enough. The slipstream has made him soar past into the hairpin. Does he come back in? No, he's just going to stay behind. But will, but he will have DRS on the start finish straight. And if he has enough battery overtake, but it doesn't look like he has any battery in any pits anyway. So, so here comes Becco. Will he go for the move? No, he breaks late though. Vito is just watching what happened. A massive lock up. Both wheels locked up there. And he spun. We have a spin on Very unfortunate for Todd. He, did, he was having a very good race. But oh, then he bottling the exit there. Keep him up. Sarge on 12 lap of hards. And down the inside goes Armas. Nearly pulling off. Getting so close between it. How have they not touched? But he's back in the stream, but managed, sorry, managed to keep pulling off, but it's going to be a relatively easy pass. For Atmos then, who just sails past the Ferrari. Uh, looks to be a battle happening ahead there, the Slayer then, finally being passed by Beko. 
as the Ryan Warner Red Bull sailing past into the hairpin, ready for Bart the Ralph Ramos coming back at him. It's going to be very hard to move to pull off if he dives the air for sorry. Good racing between the two again. Fair, hard but clean. But these two, these three, that's a spin from Bacco. Oh god, Bacco, Bacco. Oh, after such a brilliant race, he's, you know, he's been there, hasn't he? He's at his, oh, he's really lost it again, though. But Thomas has entered the final with a gap, with a gap of 33 seconds. He has dominated this race, like, no one I've, frankly, not like no one I've ever seen. Got a gap of five seconds, five tenths, Camiliano with another time penalty. But uh, that would still be enough to keep him in third. But let's keep an eye on our current race leader, Thomas, who looks to be about to lap one of the McLarens. Which just shows how much of a dominant force he's been all race. It's a, uh, it's an incident. Uh, Medzi's retired. It would have been a crash then. As it comes around into the last corner, so I think there's been a crash on the last lap as well. As he comes around the corner to win the Chinese Grand Prix for the 2020 IFR League. What a fantastic, dominant display by him today. He is undoubtedly the driver of the day, as we see. The Beko seems to finish as well. Uh, there's Nazareth, uh, Camiliano with another 5 second time penalty on the last corner of the last lap as well, he's now finished. What a display from our winner today. He has been on it all race. But thank you everyone that's come here today for joining. It's been an absolute pleasure to commentate over this, hopefully I'm still here for next week. And um, thank you for watching.